As you wake up right now, a flood warning is in effect for the Skykomish River. Water could cover roadways in areas from Index to Monroe. But Snohomish County says this is exactly what they spend the rest of the year preparing for. King 5's Drew Andre took a closer look at the ways that they're using technology mm -hmm. to uh, separate their emergency response. Drew? Well, good morning, Mimi. An estimated 75,000 people in the county live and work in areas at risk to flood. The emergency management team in Public Works closely monitored the three rivers, but now their best weapon takes them closer to problem areas than ever before. Don't be fooled by the picturesque sights and calming sounds of the Skykomish River. The low levels can quickly turn to thrashing rapids. Look no further than 2006. Flooding ripped away parts of Index Galena Road. But watching that flood was impressive enough to get my attention. Closing the main access to dozens of homes in Skyco for 17 years. I've, I've known families over the years that wouldn't come with small children because of the, the risk involved. Now, Snohomish County Emergency Management is utilizing technology, drones, to help block Mother Nature's punches. I'm just going to take off manually. We followed the county's drone as it snapped pictures from high above to map out the new one mile stretch of Index Galena Road. And it's kind of crazy once we got the drones, just the amount of things that we could do, the amount of information that we could you know, get ourselves and then share with others has increased exponentially. The drones are gathering more information and quicker than humans, so the county can plan and send in crews where they're needed most during emergency situations like fires, landslides, and of course, floods. We're right in that busy time where we're really monitoring closely. Public Works calls on the drone team to identify problem areas near the county's rivers, searching for erosion around and under bridges and monitoring levels in tough to reach places. And we never want to put an employee at risk, so having that drone video is just priceless to us to be able to see those plan ahead. Hey, is there a new crack in that area? Is there something going on that we may need to uh, address? It's really like it's so steep right there. Yeah. If we go any farther, it's going to it's going to find a tree. 911 yeah. program manager Rob Thurston got the idea from a similar program in Texas. I read about it in a magazine and said, "Man, we should we should do this." Yeah, this is this is pretty new for this area. And as Snohomish County's population grows, these drones are mapping out new housing developments and roads like Index Galena to support the 911 system and their residents. I've been here for the high water events and for the snow. In communities like Skyco, homeowners like Bruce Kimball have felt the lasting impacts of the flood for almost two decades because of the road closure. There we go but hope the help of modern technology and we've heard about a communication coming up the road will allow them to live with a little less worry in their rural communities. And these drones have already been put to test in real life emergencies like the Bolt Creek fire last year. That footage actually helped them trigger evacuations and they know at some point they'll have to use this for the floods too. Interesting. Wow. So this could give us an early warning sign, you think, depending on what they find with these drones. Yeah. Exactly. That's the key, an early warning sign. And then when that emergency is actually going on, they can be there to respond and give them more information. And they're able to see so much more than just people on the ground right. looking and just be able to gather that information so that they have that in terms of when the flood happens. And that's something we're thinking about right now, right? Yeah. Thank you, Drew. Yeah.